Hey, quick view, quick view. Hey, I got to see the ending, but I will go watch the rest of it later today. Uh, J-Dubs, why don't you call me out, buddy? Why don't you go live with me? Why don't me and you go live on YouTube? You're supposed to be a man? Go live with me. Forget your little queer buddy there. Go live with me, J Dubs, J Douche, J Dumb. I hope somebody that's watching this, there's eight. I'm not on here long. It's a quick shot at this. J Dubs, why don't me and you go live together? You like doing videos with Vaughn? Do a video with me. Vaughn can't get on here with me, he says. Remember? Why don't you come on here with me? Why don't you do a live video with me, J Dubs? You want to run your mouth on the frost? You run this. You stick up right up into his little ass, buddy. You don't know shit. And if you believe half of what he says, you're as stupid as he is. I gave you credit, and all you did is downmouth me. I gave you credit. At least you're up there cooking for your wife. Your house don't look nasty. Your hands ain't all black as far as I can see. I'm talking good about you and you talk shit about me, John? Why don't you go live with me, John, J-Dub, whatever, and Mr. New York? I could fill you in on the real stories. Let you know the truth. People, OBI has still been giving out food since this problem that the world has been having. The church gives out food once a month, every month, the last Friday of the month. The church does. You people know... If there's people giving him food around here, or there's people that's telling him what's around here, 9 out of 10, they are a Frost family member. Do you all understand that? This whole area, they might not carry the last name Frost. But the Frost bloodline runs through their family somewhere. Maybe not through their blood, but through the family it does. That'd be like me calling out one of the other names out here. That is very, very well known in this area. Vaughn, you don't know nothing about a family tree. Look it up. Go to the library when you become homeless, because that's where you'll be living. Because that'll probably be the only place you can get on for free. Carrie Chandler, Guilford Frost's first child was Arnold Frost. My grandfather would have been a teenager by the time your mother was even born. You say that Arnold's not the Indian mama, that she, Arnold's from a white woman? No. 
Guilford didn't get with the white woman until after they were all born. After great grandma died, he got a white wife. All the kids were already born, James. So quit saying that we are distant, distant, distant bloodline related. In my book, it shows me you're my second cousin. Boy, I hate to say that live on camera. J-Dubs, this was just for you, buddy. I hope someone's recording this, and I hope someone sends it straight to J-Dubs. I want him to see this, please. You want to talk, boy? Go live with me. Since your little bitch boy can't. I'm back. For now. It's almost your shot time. I know, that's why. I told Alex I had to go. Okay. Instead of hanging out with your bitch boy, come over and hang out with me for an hour. You know, none of us frosts downmouth you at all until you started running your mouth. You know, I think you were a pretty nice guy. I mean, it looks like your house is clean. You cook for your wife. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Because Vaughn couldn't do that. He couldn't keep his wife. You're at least keeping yours. Daddy. You know to get up and make your wife dinner when she's coming home from work. After eight hours of sweating her balls off to, you know, pay the bills. Oh, you know, so there's a lot of people say bad about you, J-Dubs. I kind of stick up for you, but hell, it's just like Vaughn. I'm getting stuck in the back. I am Vaughn's tro. I am Vaughn's second cousin. I am a frost. I know my bloodline, James Vaughn, Hilton, Stinky. You know so much and you got so big of a college degree and you're this and you're that. You ain't shit but a dummy. You don't even know how to look up your own family tree. I'm not getting mad, honey. I'm just trying to put a point out for John and Vaughn. They did one this morning. I'm glad you were outside when I watched it. All I say on that video this morning, I only seen half of it, people. You guys know I was live, too. So I will go back over there and see it again. I appreciate Todd recording it because I definitely wanted to see it. Oh, no, baby. If he would have said something about you, I would have went there. You know, I said that to the family once. I was like, I wonder if they switched babies when we were younger. I mean, we're only about six months apart. The only thing that sucks about that is I was born in Toledo, Ohio, and he was born in Hamilton. So they would have to switch us after birth. Did my mom and dad really steal me for me and Alice and left their kid? No. <laughs> Vaughn Hilton had to be hatched. He, he, I don't think he was born. 
You know, people, if he quit fucking lying and quit running his mouth and fucking try to at least make money and fill out his own paperwork to get his social security check, if he quit crying and quit telling lies, he might have been an okay guy. That's never going to happen. We all know it. Look at him. It's been going on for over 15 years. What's the other way around? Honey, I could use a soda, though. I know you're getting ready for lunch. J-Dubs, all I want to do is me and you go live with you each other. I'll want, see you in a minute. You want me to open that? Another one or? No, not yet. I just want to do an interview with you, J-Dubs, or you do an interview with me, J-Dubs. That way you can throw me out anytime you're ready. I don't care how you do it. Me and you at the same screen, same time where we can talk to each other. And this whole world can hear us. That's what this little quick video, 15 minute shot thing's going to be. J Dubs, me trying to call you out. You want to say something about the frost. You want to run your mouth about the frost. We're this, we're that. Well, you come in front of me. Come on screen, that way there's no fist fighting and you don't get your ass stomped. We can do it on screen, live in front of 2 million or 3 million people and see what they all think. Because I'm going to tell you, I know more about Vaughn Hilton than you do. And J-Dubs, I don't know if your mom's alive or not. I'm not going to disrespect your mother. But I hope if your mother sees this and sees the way that boy has treated his mother, I hope your mother looks at you and say, if you ever thought about treating me like that, I'd knock your ass out. Do you treat your mom that way, J-Dubs? Do you let your wife hit on your mom, J-Dubs? You going to lock your kids up in their bedrooms when they're born and not feed them in, when they're born or change their diapers, J-Dubs? What kind of man are you, J-Dubs? Because the man you're protecting and best friends with and all this, he did do that. There's proof. Not coming out of Vaughn's mouth. We say something. We prove it. Do you want to see pictures of the locks on the doors? We can show them to you. You want to see the poop on the walls? We can show you the pictures. You want vi interviews and live videos? We got them. You know we got them. You watch them a lot. You and Vaughn talk about them a lot. I hope this is the one you're watching today if you ain't caught none of them. I hope you get this one. Larry is back in the house again, twice in one day. Because I'm responding to the video that Mr. Todd recorded earlier to J-Dubs. I am tired of J-Dubs running his mouth, so I am now calling J-Dubs out. J-Dubs, when you get done with your little boyfriend over there, you come and see me because me and you should do a live together. For I can fill you in on a few things. You keep disrespecting the frost and something could happen. You've already said you want to fight me. My brother's close. 
real close to you. He's still in the same state as you. Give me a date and time. I don't want to fight you. I want to settle you straight and tell you I've never disrespected you until you start disrespecting us. I see you cook for your woman. Vaughn has never did that. He says that he took his woman and his mother-in-law and the kids all the goat and corral. People, he didn't tell you the mother-in-law is the one that paid for the goat and corral. The only thing he did is drove them. And he got gas money from her for taking her. So really, he he got fed to take him to the Golden Corral. And the mother-in-law paid for it all. Come on, J-Dubs. I know you got to be getting tired of him listening to lies. I, I can't believe that you are so whatever. I mean, you got to be in love with him or something, J-Dubs. Literally, man, I don't know what to tell you. Well, that 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 was way back when. That's when he might have took a shower before they went. He might have been taking one of them sponge bath things. Wash your hands. Take the deodorant out of the bathroom and put some on. You all know what we bought him for Christmas every year? Deodorant. Because every time we turned around, he stunk. And I hate to say it, he wasn't even the only one. There was somebody else that I, every Christmas, got a, a, a can of deodorant or a container of deodorant. Me? I got 10 of them in there. I'll never run out of deodorant. I keep stocked on that. It goes on sale. I buy the whole shelf if I have to. So really, I hope Todd's on here. I hope he's getting this where he can send it over to J-Dubs. Or I hope there's a J-Dub person on here that will send it over to J-Dubs. Because I definitely, I don't care if Vaughn sees it. I want J-Dubs to see this one. This one was specially meant for J-Dummy. This frost is tired of you running your mouth. Shut up or put up. Come on live with me. Or I'll go live on your channel. It don't matter to me. And let's get this out in the open. Or do you want to do it the hard way? Do you want to fight it out? Like I said, I can't do it, but my brother's right there. We don't have to wait a week or a month or two months until I can get money to get there. Or until you get the money to come here. My brother's already there. He can take care of it for me. There ain't nothing to throw on him $20. That's probably what it would cost me, 20 bucks to get your ass beat. And that, I promise, would happen. You would get beat. So, please, if you want to take that challenge, please. I'd rather just go live with you. Because I'm going to be like I told everyone else. I don't want Vaughn Hilton dead. I want him to suffer. I hope he makes it to a hundred. Living under the bridge. 
suffering. Standing on the corner begging for money. I want him to suffer just like his mother did. J-Dubs. J-Dubs, if you ain't caught none of my videos, I'm all about family. And Miss Alice was family. Immediate family in my book. She is my bloodline. She is my grandfather's little sister. So that's my bloodline. She is the last of that bloodline. Because both of her parents are gone and all her brothers and sisters are gone. She's the last of that bloodline. So yeah, I love her to death. Your friend, Stinky there, he don't even know how to do ancestries. Did you do it for him? Have you looked at his ancestries, John? Since he's your sidekick, your best buddy. Have you explained to him who his parents were and his grandparents and their grandparents and their grandparents? I've seen the tree. I got the tree. I'm in the tree. Yeah, that's the way I look at it, too, Mountain Life. Larry loved Alice, and her son didn't. Well, honey, I'm just responding to what they're telling me. Do you want me to cuss at that person? Because I think I know who it is. Mountain life, do I know you personally? Yeah, yeah, we want him alive, but we want him miserable. J-Dubs, that person that was telling you rice and beans, did you know it's a frost in the bloodline? Do you know the preacher woman? She's a frost. Married bloodline. Vaughn can't accept that. That's from a frost. Frost are the ones who's killing him. <laughs> Maybe. Yep, yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, like her granddaughter, her granddaughter left Hamilton, Ohio, the same distance from our house to the hospital. She left Hamilton, Ohio, came down to Lexington, Kentucky to be with her grandmother. And she stayed there for like eight or 10 hours just she held her hand, she left, got herself something to drink, got herself something to eat, and went back in there and held her hand again. The only people 
that her granddaughter talked to were the nurses. And when the nurses told her stuff, the granddaughter posted it right to me. Not to Irvy, not to Jim, not to nobody. To me. Because she knew I was the power of attorney and that I've been taking care of that woman for the last two years. She was my pride and joy. I need anything, she'd be there to help me. Well, he says he's going to call the church and have them deliver. What makes him handicapped, people? What makes Vaughn handicapped? Is he handicapped because he can't make friends to take him stuff? Is he handicapped he can't drive that truck to the church to get the food? Is he handicapped that he can't drive over there by OBI and see that they... And you know, he says they put... That's one thing I wanted to say about Vaughn. Vaughn, one pallet? OBI? What are you, 1930s, James? I've lived here over six years and OBI's never put, never, ever put one pallet of anything out there. I've been going there for six something years, buddy. Every time I've been there, there's 20 pallets. Full of everything. What are you doing? Wait until two in the morning to go there at the day after they give it away? For nobody sees how stinky and dirty you are? It's got to be. Because you sure in the hell ain't going to OBI when they're giving it away. Where do you think your mom got all her chocolate donuts from? Stinky. James, I got enough food from OBI to run my house for six months. And that's not even counting the beans and rice. That's before we even touch them. So you add the beans and rice in there. I could probably go almost a year. Besides bread and milk. People, I didn't mean to be on here long. I just wanted to get on here. And I seen that little video clipping that Todd put out. I only caught half of it. I caught the ending half, of course. You all see me come in. Because I posted I was there. Um, I just wanted to call J-Dubs out and say, J-Dubs. Why don't you go live with me? Or why don't you let me go live with you? Get on, J-Dubs. Do not invite Vaughn. Block him out for a minute. You want to bring his punk ass in after me and you start talking? You can. And send me an invitation and I will like, definitely gladly be accepted to come in there and talk to you about this shit. Well, that that's up to his. Well, you got to figure, Mountain. It matters what God he believes in, honey. Yeah. That, okay. I see. I'm see. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I was way down. I was running my mouth and not reading what everyone was saying. 
Yeah, but they could fill his refrigerator and freezer up, but he wouldn't cook none of it. But I mean, come on, guys. I got chocolate donuts, cases of them. They had over two or three pallets full of cases of chocolate donuts, hundred in a case. Doritos, Lay's, a lot of energy drinks, a lot of water, milk, you name it. OBI puts a lot of different stuff out there, a lot. Well, I mean, that's that's up to Miss Alice now. If she can pull them strings up there, let her do it. Yeah, exactly. Honey buns, extra energy bars. I never seen no Mountain Dew drinks, though. Well, yeah, them energy drinks, sure. Yeah, Mountain, come on now. You know me and you're me and you don't know, both know better now. Because you're literally telling me everything that we've got there. So I know you're a close area person. And I know you got to know me because look at this ugly face. Everybody around here knows me. I think I'm the ugliest one in town. But people, yeah, that food's down there for anybody and everybody. And yeah, Vaughn was right. If you don't get down there quick enough, you might miss out. Because some people don't play around. Some people gather for other people. Which is what families do. If I know Jim and Millie's in town and Jim's at a doctor's appointment for some reason. And they can't make it. And I see there's a little... You know, something that I know Millie and Jim like, like the chocolate donuts, I would grab a little extra. You know what I mean? And I, Ronnie Ray and them, they might be out of town at one of their reenactments. I'll grab a little extra and call them. Hey, guys, I got this. If you want it, come and get it. Or I'll deliver it to the rest of the family that's already over there. How many people in town do you know that's got a mini pig? That's all you had to say. Thank you, Mountain. Love yous. Glad to see you on here this morning. Been doing it for about two weeks now. Three weeks, maybe. I mean, I'm not stingy, people. When I know OBI is giving stuff away, I call family members. I call everybody. Anybody and everybody. I come home on Facebook and post OBI giving away food this morning. Yeah, I figured that mountain. Yeah, I don't know if they're giving anything away. I ain't heard nothing. I'm <laughs> we don't really need nothing. We are like literally took care of. And if I did get anything, I just had to pack it up. So right now we're going to run down to bare necessaries and pack everything away in case we do have to move. Yeah, we can do some trading. I love eggs. We eat eggs. 
I see you guys started out small. That's kind of good. You get to know exactly how many eggs you guys can handle. But I don't know. You say you only got seven chickens. That's only seven eggs a day. You could probably use that right there on that farm. Because if you're who I think you are, you know, you, you know, you got a couple miles there to feed. Well, you know, you can order them. I know people that breed them, yeah, but you can literally order them. My father has did that. He ordered a hundred of them offline. Two days later, they were there. They were just born. They wasn't even two days old. As they got older, as the roosters got roosting, he killed them. He ate the roosters and was keeping the hens for the eggs. But he started with too many of them because uh, he had eggs coming out his ears. Yeah, I, me personally, I just like to have maybe three or four chickens. You know, I only need four eggs a day. You know, just me and the wife being here. Now, if the boys are here, we can go through a few more. If both of the boys here, we can make a whole dozen and get away with it. Because what we don't eat, we can always throw out to the, the dogs. Well, yeah, you can do that, too. You could definitely do that. I don't know if you can dehydrate them. I've never tried that. I'll have to look that up for you. Or have you already looked that out, Mountain? Let me know, because, you know, I have two dehe dehumidifiers, or whatever them things are. Probably need to be cleaned. I ain't used them in think the last thing we did in them were bananas. Oh, no, no. Bananas in one of them and deer jerky in the other. I'd rather do it in deer meat. We call it deer jerkies. Make a killing. Killing on my belly, that is. I'd be eating more than I'd be selling. I don't know if they dehydrate that stuff. I thought that stuff that you would seal in jars. I don't know. Unless you cut them up really, really, really fine. Is she keeping up on her hot teas and honey and lemon if she starts feeling sick? Yeah, she's still keeping them around. She still has a couple, yes. She's really been doing okay, honestly. Her sugar's starting to level off. Everything's been okay.
We're just wondering if we're going to have to move. That's about the only thing that we've been wondering. Got a lot of my stuff packed up. Waiting to see if we're going to get eviction notice or not. Might be a story. It might not be, but I hear eviction notices are coming out, so I don't know who all they're going to. Oh, that'll always be there. Plus, did he go back over to, did he go to Stinky's other part of the show? Oh, okay. Well, I might want to get off here and go join that there, Mountain. I appreciate you. Um, you going to go over there, Mountain, or are you going to say hi here? Or, I mean, I don't want to keep everybody from hearing about Stinky. I mean, I had people leaving Stinky Show to come over and watch my show. J-Dub still on with him? I want J-Dub's come on over here and see me. J-Dub's. I don't know. I watched the one a little bit earlier. I didn't get to watch it all, but I did get to see some. Sounds like a woman. It's probably J-Dubs. I don't know. People, let me get off here. Let's go see what's happening over in Vaughn Hilton. Go see Todd here for a minute. See what Todd's got going on. I might do a little one after this. Who knows? You guys have a good day. Peace out. Do you have any shakes down there? Or them? You haven't took them yet. Dad. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 